Hello, food enthusiasts and science lovers. Welcome back to Corpus Anonima. Have you ever hesitated to eat rice, concerning a glucose spike? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of carbohydrates and uncovering the secrets behind two important processes that will decrease glucose spikes due to rice and other carbohydrates. But, before we delve deeper, if you haven't already, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button below. We've got a treasure trove of science and food discoveries waiting for you. Cooking rice. The wonders of gelatinization. Picture this. You're in the kitchen, whipping up a batch of rice. As it cooks, something magical happens. The starches in those tiny rice grains undergo a mesmerizing transformation called gelatinization. Gelatinization increases the availability of glucose from starchy foods. This is the process by which starch molecules in foods like rice, potatoes, and grains absorb water and swell when exposed to heat during cooking. This process breaks down the structure of the starch granules, making the carbohydrates more accessible for digestion. Therefore, if you eat the rice right after cooking, your blood glucose levels will be high. Cooling rice. Now, let's talk about retrogradation. After you've cooked your rice, Here's where the real culinary magic begins. As your rice cools, the starch molecules inside embark on an elegant dance called retrogradation. They rearrange themselves into a sophisticated, crystalline structure and become resistant starch. But here's the kicker. These newly reorganized starches are no longer a piece of cake for your digestive enzymes. This restructuring makes the starches less digestible or less accessible to digestive enzymes in the small intestine. As a result, if you eat the rice after cooling, your blood glucose will be lower than freshly cooked rice. Reheating rice. When you reheat the cooled rice, retrogradation continues. The starches that have restructured during cooling become even more resistant to digestion. This means that when you eat reheated rice, your body digests it more slowly, leading to an even slower and lower increase in blood glucose levels. Refrigerating and reheating refrigerating and reheating. In a nutshell, refrigerating and reheating rice work a remarkable alchemy on those starches, turning them into resistant starches. This means they're digested slowly, leading to a gentle and controlled increase in blood glucose levels. As a result, the carbohydrates in the rice are absorbed more slowly, causing a milder increase in blood sugar levels compared to freshly cooked rice. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals who need to manage their blood sugar levels, such as those with diabetes. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so now. It's important to note that not all rice varieties respond to this process in the same way, and the extent of resistant starch formation may vary depending on factors like rice variety, cooking method, and cooling time. Nonetheless, this technique can be a useful strategy to make rice a more diabetes-friendly option.